Today we are going to make stir fry. Um, this is the last Shearfield Cooks video we're going to make and I have asked all of the Shearfield growers to um, give me some of their produce. So we have radish and we have courgette and spinach and kale. Um, so it's really exciting. Just going to chuck those all together and make a flash stir fry so we keep all the taste and the flavour in the vegetables. So let's get cooking. So here are all our beautiful vegetables. I mean, how glorious. This is a ginormous courgette. So the courgette and the kale is from Jill. Um, the radish, this is Moi Moi's radish. Um, I mean, I tried to grow radish and they were tiny, so I'm well impressed with this. And the spinach as well is um, Max and Moi Moi. These tiny little purple beans, which I've never seen the like of before. And these are from Charity. We have uh, mint is from Ken. Basil is from Sharon and it's flowering. Um, and then over here, we have some parsley, which is from Val, um, which she kind of gave us too. So these flavours don't usually mix, but we're going to mix them because that's what we've got. So I'm just going to quickly chop all the veg. We're going to make ribbons with this courgette. Um, I'll just use a peeler and woo, there it goes flying. Um, it's just like peeling it, but you don't just do the, the, um, the peel, you do the inside too. And this, um, this is a really good way of just getting really thin um, slices that will cook quickly. Some people use mandolin, I think they're called, but um, I don't have one of those, so peeler it is. Just realised the courgette has a handle, which makes it really easy to peel. Would you look at that? Homegrown veg, marvellous. My courgette has got to the breaking point, so we're going to thinly slice these bits. And that's actually quite nice, adds a bit more texture to our stir fry. Um, I'm just going to get them as thin as possible um, because, uh, you know, when you when you buy these stir fry packs in the shops, they have really thin veggies in. Um, but this is going to be far greater than that because it's a Shieldfield stir fry made with Shieldfield veg. So we've also got Jill's kale. Um, I don't usually use this bit because it can be quite crunchy, but. Stir fries are quite crunchy, so I'm going to go for it and see what happens. I'm just going to do this quite rough, and in it goes. So this is Moi Moi's radish. Um, man radishes can be quite peppery. I mean, they are quite peppery and um, spicy, so we're just going to slice it thinly. Um, so we just get little, little tiny bits. Got the spinach. I'm just going to chop this roughly like we did kale and I'm actually not going to put this in our red bowl because this will wilt down really quickly so we're going to put this in after we put in the other veggies. Now we've got Charity's purple beans. I kind of just want to eat this whole they look really interesting but I'm gonna I'm gonna for the for the recipe I'm just gonna cut them into small pieces. These will be like little bits of gold in our nice wee stir fry. Chuck them in. So I have some mint from Ken and some basil from Sharon. Um, oh, and parsley. I have some parsley. Now, like I said, these don't usually go in the same dish, but we're going to try. And I'm just going to cut these up um, nice and fine. Take the mint off the stalk. My camera woman has just informed me that if you get your nose right in here, you can smell all three scents and the mint just cools your nose down. And it's pretty, it's like a party happening in my nostrils. That is how good homegrown herbs are. And that is how good Shieldfield homegrown herbs are. Flip the dip. You usually do have noodles with stir fry. We're going to use what is called an American noodle, which is actually pasta. Um, because we don't have noodles and we do have macaroni pasta. So we're just going to put some salt in a pan and boil the kettle. Just go and put that in there. And then enough, there are two of us tonight. Um, I mean, that's probably too much, but leftovers. And then we'll just turn that on and let that simmer for about nine to 11 minutes. We have nine to 11 minutes to make our stir fry. Oh baby. So I'm going to move our veggies out of the way and we're going to make our sauce. 
Um, I'm kind of making this up as we go along, uh, but I will put in the details ideas of things you could put in your sauce. So instead of chilli, we're going to use sweet chilli sauce. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon of this beautifulness. So yeah. you could also use fresh chilli or um, cheap chilli from a jar. And um, then we're going to use a tablespoon of cider vinegar. You would usually use rice vinegar for this, but again, we don't have it. So using what we got, that's going to go in. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of beautiful dark soy sauce. And maybe a bit more than a tablespoon. Everybody loves some soy sauce. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of honey. I'm just going to eye this. Sweet. Give this a little bit of a mix. Mm -hmm. Then I've got two limes. I'm actually going to zest and juice these so we get quite a lot of lime flavour in it. So we zest first. A bit hard to zest once you've juiced. Just zest that right in there. Citrus. We've got the zest in. Now we're going to juice. Oh, good tip. If you want to get more juice out of a lime or a lemon or a citrus fruit, just roll it along the side and that will get the juices flowing. Then we'll cut it and squeeze it. If you don't have limes, you could also use an orange. I wouldn't maybe advise using a lemon. It's a bit of a different flavour, but you could use maybe one lemon, one lime. Uh, limes and oranges are the best. So if you want to make more of a satay kind of sauce, you could add some peanut butter in. We've decided that actually I think this would be nicer without, and I don't I don't want to take away from the flavours of the fresh veggies, um, but that is an option. So we're going to heat our pan up super hot. For a stir fry, you need a hot pan. Um, and I'm going to add a bit of, that's a bit too much, but hey ho, it's in. A bit of olive oil. And let that get hot. It is getting so hot. Let me take off my jumper. Okay. The way to check if it's sizzling, sizzling hot is we're just going to put a little bit of veg in. Oh, and he sizzles. Okay. This is going to go in. <laughs> Maybe a bit too hot. Alright, it's going to keep tossing. Oh, it smells good already. You can already see this has gone down quite a lot. Stir fry is very quick. Um, so we don't, we still want it to be a bit crispy. I like my stir fry a bit crispy. It's just basically a flash fry. But we're going to keep this going for a bit more. I'm going to add the spinach in. This will go down really quick. Um, and then also the herbs at this point. I think that's done. It's been good about four minutes, I think. I'm gonna turn it off. Pour over our beautiful sauce. Better stir. I'm gonna maybe cook it a wee bit more. Put the sauce in. So we get sticky. I think I did it a bit. I'm just gonna drain our pasta real quick. Give it a good shake. I'm gonna quickly douse it with cold water to get rid of the starch. And then just let that dry for a bit. Now I'm just gonna add this in. Because I don't get it when you put pasta on the bottom and the stir fry on the top. And they never mix and you're just left with pasta at the end, so. I mean, why not mix them now? And there we go. Slightly overdone <laughs> stir fry. Ready to eat. I'm just gonna. Wait this up. Oh, look at those glorious veggies. And then we'll sprinkle some sesame seeds over the top. These would be nice to toasted, but I'm not gonna do that. We'll just take this out with the table. This is the first one we've had outside. It's a glorious day. And that's a Shielfield veg stir fry. Ready in a flash? Now time for dinner. Oh yeah. Thank you, Shield Field.